Welcome readers. When I'm reading and I come to a tricky word, one of the first strategies I like to use is to break the word apart into syllables or word parts. This really helps me read new words. To be able to break a word into syllables, it's important for us to know the types of syllables we'll find in words. Our goal for today is to understand what an open syllable is. We'll also use open syllables to read words with more than one syllable. Let's start by reminding ourselves what a syllable is. A syllable is a word part with only one vowel sound. The letters A, E, I, O, U, and often the letter Y, usually make a vowel sound. What does this mean? Well, it means that when we hear a syllable spoken or we see a syllable that's written, we'll only hear and see one vowel sound. Now that's a little confusing because sometimes we'll see a syllable with two written vowels, like a Y. This can only happen when the vowels are working together in a team to make one vowel sound. A Y, for example, can say the long A sound, A. Since the vowels work together to make one sound, they can be in the same syllable. Now we've learned that a closed syllable is a special kind of syllable. It has one vowel followed by one or more consonants. Closed syllables only have one written vowel. They won't have a vowel team. Open syllables, which are our focus for today, are similar to closed syllables, but not exactly the same. They also have one written vowel. They won't have vowel teams either. But that one written vowel is not followed by one or more consonants. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means when we see that open syllable, the vowel will be at the very end of the syllable. The syllable won't be closed off by a consonant. Why does this matter? Do you know? When we talked about closed syllables, we learned that the vowels in closed syllables usually make a short vowel sound. Now, open syllables are different. When we read open syllables, we usually make the long vowel sound for the vowels that we see in that syllable. These are our long vowel sounds. A, E, I, O, U, or U. This one has two. And the Y also has two. It can make the long I or E. When we're reading a word and we find an open syllable, we can try to read it first by using the long vowel sound. Let's look at a word and see if we can find the open syllable in this word. Here is our word. This word is idea, idea. I've already separated this word into the syllables. The first one is I, the second one is D, and the last one is a. Uh. Which of these syllables are open syllables? Do you have an idea? Well, let's look at the first syllable and see if it fits our rules for open syllables. I see the letter I in the first syllable. Is that one written vowel? It is. And is that vowel not followed by one or more consonants? It isn't. The I is at the very end of the syllable. In this syllable, it's actually the only letter there. So this is an example of an open syllable. That's why when we read the word idea, we say I for that first syllable. 
idea. Now, let's look at the second one. Is this an open syllable? What do you think? Does it have one vowel? It does, the letter E. Is that vowel, that vowel not followed by one or more consonants? It isn't. The E is at the end of the syllable. That makes this another open syllable. That's why when we read this syllable, we say D with the long E sound. Idea. Now let's look at our last syllable, the letter A. Do you think this is an open syllable? It is because it has one vowel that is not followed by one or more consonants. There's only a vowel here. There are no consonants at all. So this is an open syllable. You might have noticed something about this syllable though. Listen to how we pronounce the syllable in the word. Idea, idea. Is the A making the long A sound? No, that would sound like idea, which is not how we pronounce this word. Remember, open syllables usually have vowels that make long vowel sounds, but sometimes they won't. Sometimes you'll hear that vowel in a long and in an open syllable making the uh sound instead of a long vowel sound. Do you have any ideas about how to protect our planet? Now that we have practiced finding open syllables in a word, let's practice reading words with open syllables. As we start to divide words into syllables to read them more easily, there are some tips that we can follow. First, we have to remember that every syllable has one vowel or vowel team. Another way to say that is that each syllable has one and only one vowel sound. We can make sure that the syllables we find have only one vowel sound by placing a dot under each vowel. Do you see the vowels in this first word? What are they? First, I see the letter I. And what other vowel do we see? The letter I. Then we can underline any vowel team that we find. Remember, a vowel team is where two or more letters work together to make a vowel sound, like E-E, -E, that can make the E sound. Do you see any vowel teams in this word? No, these vowels aren't working together. They're separated and they're going to make their own sounds. Now we have to decide where we're going to divide this word into syllables. We can divide a syllable between two consonants or between a consonant and a vowel. Sometimes we'll divide after a consonant and before a vowel, and sometimes we'll divide after a vowel and before a consonant. Let's try that with this word. We know that the first syllable will have the letter I because each syllable needs a vowel and the letter L is not a vowel, so it can't be a syllable by itself. Then we have another consonant, the M. We know that the letter I is going to start its own syllable so we're stuck with this letter M here in the middle, and we have to decide which syllable it's going to be part of. Will it join the first syllable like that and make a closed syllable here? Or will we separate between the vowel in the consonant instead and make an open syllable here? Since we've been reading, uh, words with open syllables. Let's try it this way first and see if this works. All right, read with me. Lie, mit, lime it, lime it. That doesn't sound like a word that I know. Let's try this again. And instead of making an open syllable with the long vowel sound here, Let's make a closed syllable and try the short I sound instead. Read with me. Lim it. Limit. 
limit is a word that I know. When you limit something, you decide how much of something can be used. We can limit the amount of energy we use to protect our planet. One way you can do this is by turning the lights off when you're not using them. When we read the word limit, we used the short vowel sound for this closed syllable. And we had to try it two ways, dividing first between the vowel and the consonant, and then between this consonant and the next vowel to find a real word. Let's try this again with the next word. We're going to start by finding the vowels. What are they? First, we see the vowel O, and then we see the vowel A. Are these part of a vowel team that we should underline? They aren't. They're separate and they're going to make their own vowel sounds. So now we just need to decide where we're going to divide. We know that the S and the O have to stick together because O has to be part of the first syllable since each syllable is going to have a vowel sound. Then we have a consonant followed by our next vowel, which has to be in a new syllable because we can't have two vowel sounds in the same syllable. So we're stuck again with one consonant in the middle. Well, again, I think that we should try by reading an open syllable first, using the long O sound for this vowel. And then if that doesn't work, instead of separating between the vowel and the consonant, we can flip them and separate between the consonant L in the next vowel. So let's start this way. Read with me. So, lur, solar. Is that a word that we know? Solar is a real word. It describes the energy that comes from the sun. We call solar energy clean energy because it's good for the planet. I have a really cool bird feeder that has a light that runs on solar energy. Did you notice when we read this word the first time we got it correct? If we had heard that word and it hadn't sounded like a word that we knew, we could have slid the L over to the first syllable to try the word again. And we could have read the O with the short vowel sound like this. Sol, er, solar. That wouldn't have made a word that we know, but it's good to remember that if what you read doesn't sound like a real word, you can just flip that consonant between the syllables to make the word a real word changing the vowel sound that you're using. Great work today reading words with closed and open syllables. While you're reading, be on the lookout for these different syllable types and remember that they can help you read new and challenging words. This program is made possible in part by the Michigan Department of Education, the State of Michigan, and the W.K. Kellogg Foundation. Additional support by and by viewers like you. Thank you.